This video will provide you with step-by-step -step installation instructions for installing your new Lumen JK grill with built-in DRL and LED switchback turn signals. Your new Lumen JK grill kit will include the main grill, LED switchback turn signals, brackets, hardware, and wiring harness to complete the installation. Tools needed are a test light, Phillips screwdriver, terminal crimping tool, electrical tape, channel locks, wire cutters, wire stripper, trim tool, and a 10 mm open-ended wrench. Start by disconnecting the factory turn signals on the driver and passenger side. Remove all the trim clips from the top and sides of the factory grill, and with all the trim clips removed, pull firmly on the grill assembly to unlock the lower retaining clips and remove the grill from the Jeep. Remove the trim pin for the outside temperature sensor and relocate the sensor to the back side of the header panel support and secure it using zip ties. Install your new LED switchback turn signals into the grill by lining up the slots on the provided bracket and securing it with the provided Phillips head screws. Place the grill in front of the Jeep and run the DRL wiring harness under the radiator support into the engine bay. Using a test light, locate the parking light wire on the factory harness. Once located, cut the wire from the harness and splice the red wire from the LED turn signal in series with the factory parking light wire using a crimp connector. Connect the grill DRL harness to the main wiring harness by plugging in the two connectors from the grill. Run the yellow turn signal wire from the wiring harness behind the grill on both driver and passenger side to connect it to the factory turn signal wire. Using a test light, locate the factory turn signal wire. Once located, use a wire tap connector to connect the yellow turn signal wire to the factory harness. Remove the headlight assembly and with the headlights turned on, use a test light to locate the power wire to the headlight. With the headlight power wire located, use a wire tap connector to connect the white wire from the grill wiring harness to the headlight power wire. This will ensure that the grill DRL turns off when the headlights are on. Once the white wire is connected, you can reinstall the headlight assembly. Loosen the ground terminal on the battery and connect the ground wire from the wiring harness to the battery terminal. The power wire on the grill wiring harness needs to be connected to key on power only. We recommend purchasing an Adafuse harness and splicing it in series with the wiring harness power wire to seamlessly integrate it to the vehicle's electrical system. Once the Adafuse is connected, turn the key on to the accessory position and use a test light to probe the fuse box to find a circuit with key on power only. Once located, plug the new Adafuse into the appropriate fuse slot. With the wiring completed, install your new grill using the factory trim clips. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed the installation of your Lumen Jeep grill with built-in DRL and LED switchback turn signals.